I'm Tambi Saffron from Focus Magazine and Focus TV. I just had an amazing discussion with Ariana Thermopolis, who is the founder of Modern Day Girlfriend, a site that explores living and loving in the digital age. Stay tuned. So Ariana, tell us how you started um, Modern Day Girlfriend. Well, the Modern Day Girlfriend, like you said, is a place to go for living and loving in the digital age one swipe at a time. <laughs> so I really talk about how today's society, it's changed because of the internet mm -hmm. and how we do work, we talk to people, we communicate and we find love and stay in love. And when I was younger and I was in a long-term relationship and it was right when social media came, like there was the Instagram, the Twitter, the Facebook and emails were more of a prominent way to talk to somebody to get work done. And I was in my relationship and it just, dissipated because he was in his phone all right. the time. So then that also led me to be like, okay, well, I'm not living my life with him because we're not in the moment together. I'm going to be on my phone as well. So it was like, I was looking at everybody else's life and I was like, oh, well, that looks like fun. And you know, that like fear of missing out FOMO, that's like all the rage now. <laughs> and I had that sense of FOMO before it became the fear of missing out. And I just was like, you know what? I can't be the only one. So I started talking to my girlfriends about it and they were having the same issues in their relationships or with jobs or with girlfriends yeah. or things like that. Like people would see them out and they would be like, well, you didn't invite me. And they're like, but I, I was out with my mom. Like, it's okay. So they asked, could you please have a place or can you just write? your story because it's so relatable and there's not a place out there that's really talking about this right now. And I said, of course. So I just started writing it and put it up on my blog mm -hmm. and then it just started growing from there. People came to it and it was just, it's grown into this like just lovely environment of women and also men too that are like, this is really happening? I had no idea. Or, uh, yeah, I agree, this is what we do. Or how about from our perspective? What, do you, what can you tell us as a woman? Can you help us navigate the waters of digital dating? And I, it's, of course, I tell them, and I'm open with everything that I talk about. I talk about the disaster dates that I go right. on. If it's happened to me, it's happened to you. If it's happened to you, it's happened to me. It's happened to all of us. Yeah, it's happened to all of us. And I want it to be a place where women can go and men, anybody can go and just feel like, oh, okay, I get it. And it's also lifestyle and, you know, things, find, things that I find that if you want to do like a last minute DIY or you're having the girlfriends over for brunch, how to do fun recipes on a budget nice. and things like that. So it's just really stemmed from what I was going through, people related to it, and I just kept writing and I'm still dating and still writing about that. So that's really long story short or longer story longer. Right. That's really where it came from. And you are single. I am. What is like the craziest online or internet story you have dating? Oh, there's a bunch of them, which you can read at the Modern Day Girlfriend. Um, okay, well, I met a guy through Instagram and he looked so good on paper. It was, he had a great job. He looked like, he looked like Prince Charming. Okay. Like six, five, brown hair, perfect smile lived in Texas, but he found me on Instagram and we started talking, communicating, and I vetted him. I write about how you can vet people offline to make sure that they are who they say they are. Um, and I wrote a post about that. And so I did all my steps and he was great. He came out here. Long story short, he told me he had a stalker. Turned out to be his girlfriend of like two and a half years. So, I found that out after he had put me on a plane on New Year's Eve day, two different planes coming back from Texas to LA and an hour car ride from Long Beach to get home because he told me that his brother was in the hospital, that he had overdosed, okay? He told me that, put on a whole scene. I find out a month later because the girlfriend actually contacted me and told me that they were together on New Year's Eve. She contacted you? Yes, she contacted me. And I was mortified because I had no idea he was in a relationship, nothing like that, but to lie about somebody's life yeah. 
because you are living a double life. You are trying to, it wasn't necessarily a catfish like we know in today's like right. definition of a catfish, which is that you aren't who you say you are, but he was living a double life all because he could on social media. And so finding that out, I was just mortified. Do you believe in true love? I do. I do believe in true love. I don't necessarily think it's true love in the fairy tale. Mm -hmm. I think you have to, which my mom, um, she's a TV host and a writer and a cook and all that stuff. Yeah, let's say for a second your uh, mom is, is Christina Ferrari. Yes, and she hosts the Home and Family Show on Hallmark. And she wrote a book back um, a couple years ago that was called Realistically Ever After. And it was like when he was, uh, wasn't Prince Charming and life is not a fairy tale. And she always told me, it's that life is not going to be a fairy tale and you're not going to look for your Prince Charming. It's you have to realistically live ever after because not everybody is who they post to be and they will put up all these photos on Instagram or Twitter or Facebook about like, oh, look at how great my relationship is. And then a month later, they're putting up like inspirational quotes and about how bad their breakup right. is. And you're like, you never know what goes on behind closed yes. doors. That's what I always say. Yes. Yeah. So it's just worry about yourself and you're good. And just, I think that's the most important thing about finding true love. Mm -hmm. So you have to truly love yourself first before you can love someone else. So Ariana, what is next for you? Well, there's actually a lot of stuff. I am currently writing a book. So it's the Modern Day Girlfriend Guide to, And so it's different guides to dating digitally, texting, living and so it's the blog turned into a book as well as we are in the process as turning it into a talk show and a 30-minute comedy because my love life was that pathetic and hysterical um that it we're turning it into uh, a series well good luck with all of that thank it's very you. exciting thank you Hi, I'm Ariana Thomopoulos from The Modern Day Girlfriend. Come check me out in the next, oh, can't, nope. Let me redo that one again. Check me out in the upcoming, why can't I get this right, sorry. Come check me out in the upcoming, I can't say it for some reason, I need to say it a different way. Hi, I'm Ariana Thomopoulos from The Modern Day Girlfriend. Come check me out in the upcoming issue of Focus Magazine. I'm not in a hurry, not going nowhere, I'm not